Hey guys, welcome to Bricks for Dessert. Today we're going to be looking at the Aston Martin Poly Bag. I just picked this up from Toys R Us and I'm going to sample this whole thing and show you everything. So let's get started. So here you go guys, there you have it. So this is the finished product. So I would say I kind of struggled there a little bit uh, and I had to backtrack a couple times. Yeah, it was kind of confusing because I didn't realize that uh, the instruction on these poly bags are so brief. Because like, for example, if you jump from step to step, there are pieces that they didn't talk about, but they did add on to the piece. So I kind of had to, you know, go mix and match and see which which pieces were added, but it's not shown here. So that's why it took me longer than it, um, than it was supposed to. But um, yeah, overall the wheels went on very easily and um, it goes very smoothly, as you can see here. And uh, I think overall this belt is very cute, but uh, as to whether this, when I bought this, I wasn't sure if it'll fit a minifigure in, on top here. So let me just quickly take this off and see if it'll fit. It'll probably fit. You might just have to use the torso piece instead of, you know, having the full assembled person. So let's try using this Batman here. So I'm going to put half a torso. Okay, so that's interesting. Yes, so it'll fit, but then the thing is, notice how this plate is, there are only three studs. So it's only three studs wide. So meaning that you would have to either put the person to the left here or to the right. Well, since he's on the driver's side, I could just put him on the left-hand side here. So you could have him as a driver, but there's no way you could put two people in here. Not unless you take out the back parts as well. If you just use half a torso, it looks more real as if the person's really seated inside the car. Because if you were to have Batman, you know, fully assembled, and then seat it on here, it'll just look too high up, you know, as if he's not really inside the car, if you know what I mean. It's nice to have like an Aston Martin 
car, sports car lying around, especially if you're into the Lego City line. If you have some Lego City uh, Lego sets, you could always incorporate this car, you know, on the street somewhere. So I figured that would look kind of cool because I do have some city sets. Yeah, so overall, I think this minifigure is worth it because this was only $4.95 Canadian dollars and under five bucks, you can really go wrong. Um, though there is just one thing, I find the instruction a little confusing. So I think that younger kids would um, struggle a little bit it, um, but for all it's not bad. So comment down below what you guys think about this car or whether this is something that you already have. I'd like to know what you think. Thanks for watching.